Hello everyone, welcome back to more for Let's Play Final Fantasy X Part 2. So, between videos, I've spent a bit of time uh, tweaking people's gear uh, and abilities and stuff I want to go through with them. But we haven't really talked so much in this game about garment grit. And I went and did a little bit of work on these. Now, we haven't really talked about them at all because for the early part of the game, you don't really need to mess around with these very much. But it is a very important thing that we're going to get used to using and making the most out of if we want to have any success in the back end of the game. And when it comes to super bosses and all that like towards the end, we're going to need to be very proficient at these. So far, we've only been using the first steps garment grid here, which is what you begin with. And you get the general idea, you know, you've got the, the, the spheres that you collect, you put them onto the grid, and you can change people's roles in the middle of conflict to kind of adjust to what you're going to need in a given situation. You need more physical attack, get some warriors in. If you take a lot of damage, maybe get some white mages going. It makes sense. But now we're starting to get access to other types of garment grids here, which both look and act differently. Some of them you get a required just over the course of uh, the plot. Some of them you can get via other things. Protection here, I think, goes through going through Shinra's tutorial on garment grids. I'm not going to show it, it's not really necessary, and there are ways to obtain a one of these. But you'll notice that these not only start looking different, but they've got these various kind of node things on them, and all these abilities that start creeping up here. And this is where Garment Grids starts getting very personalized and tailored to what it is you want to do. Two things I'll show to them. Uh, first of all, these little, uh, these things, like these yellow things here, these are called gates, and these you'll find on the majority of Garment Grids, and they will allow you specific abilities and buffs to your characters um, in a fight. So, for example, if we had someone here that was on the, uh, the gunner dress sphere here, and I went and changed them to be a black mage, it would run, it would run through this blue uh, gate here. And what it means is that for the rest of the battle, that character then have a permanent plus five defense for that fight, regardless of which dress suit there are. And that's pretty good. You see, this one gives us just an inherent bonus to stats, and then we could, in theory, just keep cycling around, activate all the gates, have plus ten defense and magic defense for that fight. Pretty decent. However, that's where things start getting a bit funky from there. There are plenty of other things going on. Uh, these can potentially give you abilities. So let's take Thunderspawn, for example. So if we were to pass through both the green and the red gates in a combat, then the person would be allowed to use Fundare. And if you did it all three, you could even use Fundaga. You can get tier 3 magic at this early in the game if you want to. It's pretty wild, but bear in mind, of course, your characters need to have enough magic points to actually use his abilities, which is something that you might not think about initially. You've got to be careful of that. Um, and some of them will be kind of different as well here. So this one, for example, you see this one only has, well, it's only got three dress spheres. I mean, yeah, it doesn't look very good. Not many options, and that's true. But the Garment Grids can give you a lot of utility for them. So Healing Wind here, this is obviously all about like having a lot of healing potential. So this is what Yuna's going to be using, for example. Start off as a gunner. Uh, but if a bat battle goes bad, we can swing it down to being a songstress. It'll give her access to Cura as well. And if things go really bad, I can go up to White Mage as well and go full on full healing. And then once we're ready to rock and roll, cycle back to being a gunner, basically. And that's the idea. Um, some of these will have loads of slots, some of them will have very little, some will give you inherent abilities immediately, some you've got to work for, uh, and there's other types we'll find later on. Um, so I'll play around with these as we go, but that's generally how these grids work. Okay. So with that done and dusted, it's time for us to carry on with the game here. Uh, and it was time to tweak it because we're going back on a bit of a journey. Next up for us is going to be a trip to the Mian High Road. However, we're actually going to go to Luca. And the reason for that is because I want to enter Mian from a specific point, which is up these stairs here. A lot of the areas in the mainland you can actually walk between instead of having to take an airship to. And you might want that to get to certain parts. So, uh, let's head to Mian. The Mian High Road, where Crusaders once marched toward battle with Sin while travelers fled from its shadow. I walked this road too, on my pilgrimage to Xanarkand. And you walked by my side. It was a journey filled with laughter. <laughs> Don't remind me. We all know the cutscene. Okay, been a while since I've been here. I bet. <sighs> sure. Once in a while time, Chocobo back. Oh, on, on a Chocobo. Was the only way to go traveling. What if the Chocobo hunting fiends in the steady increase of Babi Makina in these parts? 
So you, people are now using hovers to transport. Ah, oh, that's kind of sad, poor things. Uh, travel agency is installed sentry marking along the high road to ensure your safe passage. Hmm. That makes me feel very, very secure. Yep. Nothing. Nothing bad's gonna happen, I'm sure. They must have missed this one. God damn it. Alright then. Iron Giant, eh? Okay. A little bit dangerous here. It's gonna work. Alright. Power break seems a good idea here. Uh, oh, I stole from you. Sorry. Alright. Nice. Good hit there. Alright. I think we're actually gonna need some magic for you. So let's actually bust out some mages here. I will start being a bit more messing around with our dress spheres at this point. Because I feel we could... Get, get away with that. You can also shorten these transitions, but the transitions are cool. It's cool. What I like as well is that lots of weapons and such from previous um, previous uh, games are like used. So that's one of the rods that Unity would use back in the first game. Stuff like that. Right. Um, let's actually do some healing here. One free. It's not too bad. Oof, crit each other. Nice, good job. Nice work! <laughs> Fucking Riku. Uh, okay. Um, we could take a hover, but uh, we want to go walking here. There is a lot for us to do, so uh, let's go adventuring. I'll take a here while I'm here. There are treasure chests. All over the place in the Mihian High Road. We're gonna need them. Cool. Phoenix Downs, nice. I don't feel anything else over here. No, okay. Again, your reminder these chests will restock between chapters. You're, uh, you're gonna want them. Hmm. That's a pretty big dude. Right. Your ice? So fire probably seems effective. Bizarre, right? Eh? Huh. Ow! You just crit me, shit! Okay, we're getting beat down here. This is this is bad. Well done, please. Hmm. We have we have issues here. Uh, right. Get back onto this me, please. I'm actually gonna get Yuna get her doing some healing here. I'm taking more damage than I really care to admit. I don't know where she gets that scar from. I need one of those. Right. Also, as well, just using the dress speed, it's gonna be good. Like, I'm gonna need to do this anyways eventually. Get some extra experience going. It's all good. Um, I do believe you get experience not only for um, obviously killing enemies, winning fights. I believe you use the abilities connected to dress, said dress. I think you get a slight bit of ability for um, for that sphere as well. I could be wrong. Uh, right, let's keep healing here. One thing I do love about this game is you've got set up like a restorative move. Too easy. <laughs> if you do set up a restorative move, it will still kick off for the end of the fight, which is a nice quality of life touch. Man, there are enemies everywhere here. Another iron giant. Jeez. We need to uh, start doing something about this. Right. Power break. Damn. Okay, that's unacceptable, buddy. Wow, getting beat the piss out of here. Right, let's put them on darkness here. Nice crit there. Come on, Pain. Right. The darkness does wear off once the dance finishes, so we will need to keep at that. This 
defeat's tough. That's why I should be using, like, items and stuff against it. Throw a grenade at him. At least the darkness is means he's missing. Good. How's that? <laughs> Some rough enemies about. Right, head up here. He is uh, Lord Mian, by the way. The statue of him. Yeah. I mean, are they working? Really, are they working? I'm not convinced. I'm sure that'll never happen again. I'm watching you. Hello. You look incredibly mean. And I am kind of intimidated by you, Shantak. Right. I think this is going to call for some, uh, some work here. Do me a favor and change some speeds here, please. I do tend to find when I play this game, pain, I do change the least. I've always found that, even when I used to play it years ago. You know Riku I'm fairly liberal with, but pain doesn't tend to change the whole time. And now for some Riku brand white magic goodness. <laughs> so we've got Prey, which is just like a general restore health to the party, as well as obviously more dedicated to like magic. This game. You can't run or hide, so why bother? Ow! Freaking hell! Yeah, trigger happy can get interrupted. To be bad. Huh? You actually block that. Interesting. I didn't quite expect this. Let me get healing. Ow! Uh. Yeah. Just healing here. You are causing me some problems. Piss out of me, right. If you're wondering how Pain's managed to hit him when he's up there, don't think about it. Yuna's out of MP, that's also not good. But again, notice that uh, Rika doesn't even get hit of it because she's so far away. It's pretty useful. Right, change you back. It turns out there's some really beefy enemies around here. Right. There we go. It's damn, you do not want to die, do you? Christ. Just trying to wait for Rika at first to get some chain going. Nice crit. Still alive, what the hell? This is kind of ridiculous. Hmm. Good, finally. Yikes. I don't want to say that I'm out of my league here, it's just. Oh, a lot more than we get any right to. Right, that's a bit of a problem. Jeez, emotions. You have one, you have one. Good. Everyone's happy. I think. Treasure chest up here. Okay, what have we got in here? 500 gil, not bad. So yeah, me and High Road is a good place to come early. Like, this place will toughen up your party very quickly. Don't worry about that. Jeep, this place is full of hell. Man, alive. Okay, fine. Be this way. Don't hold out on me. Getting kind of ridiculous. You know what, actually? I think it might be an idea. They could still learn. Neat. I mean, the good thing is that this will, you know, it will help in the long run. Yikes. You know what? It might be time to give this festival this video. I don't actually know what this does. I'll help with all my might. I'm kind of curious to know what it actually does here. Our old summoner rod. Oh. Riku gets crit. Yikes.
There's a lot happening. <laughs> Don't put off the party for another day. Festivities. Do it now. Can I imagine for anyway? That sounds useful. Jesus. There's also a degree of delaying I'm noticing um, with the attacks. It's actually like slowing us down. It's kind of rude. Right, potion, you. Uh, keep praying. Not doing a lot of damage. At least he's darkened, so I guess that's good. What else he got here? Yeah, just keep attacking, I guess, for now. Right, tell you what. More change on the fly here. But it's also a chance as well to kind of like, you know, mess with the different spheres and kind of get a feel for what the different classes can and can't do. Some of them are tailored a little bit towards the characters, while some are more uniform. Oh, you want a piece of me? Power break him. Right, you can't actually do anything else here. So it's a bit awkward. There you go, good job. Nice work! Man. Good enough to get. You know, are you. She's. Try not to look at that. Right. Yeah, bit of a weird class, that isn't it? Festivus. Looks okay, though, but pricey. The attack not good enough on its own. Really poison mask. Ah, it can be used to cure status ailments. That's good to know for the future. Alright, then, fair enough. Uh, well, you have no MP, so I should probably just have you just doing physical stuff here. You have the MP, so I'll just put you on the White Mage for now. And you just got like no magic there, so I guess we just keep on going for the time being. I need to, I need to restore my my MP somehow. Also, this is where my editing comes in, editing out all these random fights that are, you know repeats and such. I tend to do. Oh, a preemptive. Well, it's a new enemy, so I guess we'll keep it. <laughs> Against, uh, whatever the hell that thing is. <laughs> Ow. I see. That's what you do. <laughs> 110 damage crit. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah, pretty's okay. I'm not happy with you doing that, though. Shit. Good. Right. Stun you. Yeah, I can see that actually being quite pet bad. The yeah, is not very good at kind of like pairing themselves up as such and managing to, you know, chain effectively. But occasionally they get lucky. So what's next? And then they actually beat the piss out of you. It's pretty good. Anyways. Come up here. Cool. Circle it's actually not bad, I don't think. I know, right? <laughs> so I feel like we're the idiots around here. Circlet's magic -y stuff, right? Imagine, imagine we've been by 10, eh? Yes, please. Uh, what are you learning next on this? Uh, you're learning Cura. That's except what's this? Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. That could be useful later. I don't remember a whole lot about how a lot of these set up, so I'm still learning. Mm, they look friendly. Let's finish this lickety split. Think we can break our record? Let's just win. You know, I'm kind of... Come on, pain side. Mm-hmm. I've seen these in action in Final Fantasy X. They suck. Right, and then on down here. I'm pretty suspicious about these, um... Ah, great. I'm pretty suspicious about these, um... These market. I don't think they're doing a very good job, everyone. Right, we need some help here. 
be Sakine Pain. There's a reason I had a second Gunner Sphere. For annoyances like this. You're no challenge. Yeah. Just target <laughs> practice. It's like a freaking Desert <laughs> Eagle, man. It's good stuff. Get him again, Payne. Just. Just get out of here. <laughs> I believe Riku's is like a little kind of a, a snub nosed version. I like the touches. Couple antidotes, be alright. Yep, good job, Mike, in uh, protecting us from all of the dangers around here. Damn things. Okay, brings it here. Yeah, the Mean High Road is, um, as I said, it's pretty big. And a fine job you're doing. Yeah. Isn't that true? Right. Well, Holy Wars. Actually, that's not bad. Those are pretty expensive, this part of the game. Keep on wandering down the road. Just gonna head in down here for more goods. Promise. Even if they're hidden behind a paywall, which in this case is freaking more wolves and stuff. I did not realize how heavy like the spawn rates are going to be around here. And I said about like battles being kind of fairly quick and they typically are. Nice interception there by Riku, good job. But damn. Keep the crits coming, kids. Keep the crits coming. I feel like Yuna could do with, you know, facing the enemy, but whatever. Okay. I like a little mini machina. <laughs> okay. I'll forget I saw anything. Not suspicious at all. Nope. When the Inero Rebellion comes and they overtake and kill us all, I'll know who to blame. Gosh, these things are everywhere. You know what? Goodbye. We're out of here. I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> Screw it. I'm done fighting here. I don't think you understood what I just said, game. I am done fighting here. <laughs> Shit things. I'm Bangalore. Yeah, it's okay. I forget the name of the accessory it is. I do need to look up when we can first get one of those. They'll be really useful. Save my editing time as well. Oh boy. Okay. Almost there. What the hell are you doing here? Grab, I think your name was? Well, the goers. <laughs> Jeez. How's this guy problem? I love him. Fine. Thank you, Riku. So Rankus is not actually all that bad, so I've got some faith in her being able to steal stuff. Oh, hit those hit those um those dive beats. Still not great odds, but eh. It's fine. The one good thing at least is that we have gained like it to like level sixes, or it's like level nines, so we are picking up levels very quickly here. So what's next? Which is good. You know, and using all these abilities is good as well for you to like, you know, level up a, a white mage stuff, and access to all the What time? Showtime. But, man, the spawn rates are aggressive around here. Goodness me. I 
Thank God we made it to the travel agency. Jeez. That was... That was kind of an ugly trip. Alright. Hello. That's good. They look... Um, hmm. Have you seen that they're kind of... Not too safe to me. I'm sure it's in the hands of a professional. Everything's going to be fine. Heal up. Thank God I needed that. <laughs> Just to get some magic points back. They're badly needed. Get back on my gun for now. Alright, uh, let's pop it inside, I guess. Alright, what have we got here? Nervous. <laughs> uh. We probably should. They'll be useful later on. Anyways, it looks adorable. Ah, I want me one of those. Oh man, rude. Well, what is for sale then? What you got for me? Rare bits and pieces. I'm Bangle. Silver brace plus forty percent MP. It's actually not bad. You know what? I would like a couple of those, please. Those could be quite useful. Useful specifically for Yuna, actually, because she has constant access to cure because of the grid she's on. And we're not really getting poison. I had the star pendant on, so I'm happy to chuck on this uh, silver bracer. Yeah, give a bit of extra MP to walk around with. I think that's pretty good for me. Yeah, I think that's fine. Cool. Cheers. Good. Alright then, so heal up here. Uh, chest up here as well. Oh yeah, that thing. You can get on there in like Final Fantasy X eventually. I forget what it's meant to be. Yeah, it's, it's not the same, is it? Mm. Gotta love our favorite friends. I know what the correct answer should be. Nope, we're gonna walk it for old time's sakes, cause I'm an idiot. What are you gonna do? Go way across, I guess. So the me and Hyrule has this hole in this second half, has this whole extra area down. It looks like we are still able to access it by the looks of it. I see a save sphere down there, so. I'm going down there as well. Yikes. I might just off screen the of this. Got a fly here. I don't think we've seen him before. Get a phoenix down at least. Put slow on me, I think that is? I think that's slow. Yeah, that's definitely slow. Okay, that's a bit mean. Don't appreciate that. Damn. Chain them up here. Good job. Takers, keepers. So what I'm gonna do in future, in, in case you, you look at this thing, oh my god, you mean there's five chats in this game? You're gonna have to do this five times. The answer is is no. Um, there will be occasions we might go to certain locations and have basically there's nothing really to do. Um, for the lows? Yeah, something? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, yeah, it's been a very, very bad boy. It's on the naughty step, damn it. Alright, I guess it's on watch. It's not the answer? Because I said so. <laughs> Alright, so she solve it on. Uh, so it doesn't get in the way. Exactly. Of egg? Hoppers. Mm hmm. Yeah, so they just have a machina over there where it can't do anything, you know? <laughs> Probably. 
<laughs> There's a vote of confidence. But as I was saying, so we'll go occasionally to areas like this, but there isn't anything to do. I'll just off screen it, grab some items, and uh, call it a day, basically. So, you know, that's something we'll do in the future. Most areas are important to visit most of the time. Some of them can be some rather brief stops, but a place like this, don't worry about it. It's all taken care of, got it all planned out, kids. He said, chuckling nervously to himself. Right, let's move on to the next area here. <clears throat> think this place is enemy free. I hope. That takes us towards the uh, Mushroom Rock Road, I believe that is. Hey uh, guys. You think headquarters, eh? Hmm. <laughs> you got my vote, buddy. Ah, fair enough. Good on you. You're fighting for chocobo rights, goddammit. <laughs> Alright, pick up this here. For the budget grenades. Oh, use it for too much longer. One thing we'll see, however, in this game is even with like your cheap items, keep hold of them. They will be useful later on in the game. Alright then, so that takes us to Mushroom Rock. We don't want to head down there just yet. Sure, kid. Up until not too long ago, there were tons of chocobos on the high road. The one rides hovers. There were fiends around which eat chocobos. Damn. I'm not going to adopt the high road, but they're just there patrolling, so you don't have to worry. Hmm. I mean, the last bit was like factually incorrect. I guess other than that, your delivery was okay. I give him a six. Alright, head on down this way. What the hell are you doing down here? Huh. Whew, those were the days. Okay. Some people do say multiple things if you talk to them twice. Okay, buddy. It's fine. There's a safety down there. We can always go airship with you, too. I think I can do anything with this jumping. Hmm. Suspiciously put in the way of this. Mana spring, eh? What is that? MP absorption. Huh. Not too bad. Uh, sort of times out. Do it from time to time. Uh, something I haven't talked about, by the way, as well. So you've noticed, well, in, like, within menus, let's see, abilities that the game's still going, you can actually disable that. If you go into ATV mode, you can put it to wait. And I'll show you the difference that this makes here. Sorry about that. What the hell was that thing? Did you just... That was weird. Fancy machina over there. These things are everywhere and they're slightly off putting. Here we are. Hmm. Oh, these quadricorns. So, if we go in here, so whenever you're in not this main menu, but you're choosing otherwise, the game will go into a wait mode for selecting enemies, for um, deciding stuff like this. Good for stuff like if you're going through items, if you've got like a heavy list just to save some time. You can have it on if you want. It is it is only advantageous to the player ultimately, so you probably should do it. That's in pieces. There we go. Nice, stopped his attack there, good stuff. But it's a thing. Alright, should we have it level two? Mm, nothing there. It's fine. This is easy. Okay. So that's good. So Trigger Happy level two for Yuna now, which means that um, she will be in Trigger Happy for a longer time. Trigger level three is next. That's super expensive. I think I'm gonna actually do something else instead. Um let's go for cheap shot here so we can ignore defenses. That sounds pretty useful. Hello. Oof. 
Please be aware this load reads to it. You as well. <laughs> sure. Okay, so we can go this way. I have no idea if there's anything actually up here. So we're about to find out. That was fun. I can't. There we go. <laughs> okay, so those are a bit tricky to get there. <laughs> Just got stuck there for a I was like, I think you need assistance here. It's a bit worrying. A couple of softs, not bad. And head on down here. Nearly done with this place. Hmm, that's a new enemy. A bully cat. Sounds kind of rude if you ask me. Take him down. So just keeping track of what I have and haven't seen well, is a bit tricky. Like I do try to steal as much as I can, especially in the early game. There's a lot of good items to have, and you know, money's a bit on the tight side. Ah! I mean, the extra trigger is nice. You can get really it like up to like chains of like 10, 11, 12. That's a, that's a decent damage model five flare. Hello, guys. What are you doing down here? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, excuse me. Can I help you? Ah. <laughs> uh... Well, that was fun, everyone. You two have a good day. And, uh... Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Like getting into random encounters. And breathe, everyone. It's over. We've cleared the damn me and high road. Now, you might be wondering, wasn't that just a lot of busy work for some items to experience? It might look like it, but it is kind of important that we went and explored and chatted with people here. It'll be more relevant for later on the game there are a few things a few events happen later on in the game that are influenced quietly by what you do before it actually happens you could debate whether you think that's good game design or not but it's definitely definitely a thing that can happen so uh that's all well and good so uh we'll go explore the mushroom pirate uh road a bit a little bit i guess what the hell this means been nothing but just walking down a road and fighting Let's walk around a different road and fight. No, it's not quite the same. This is quite important, actually, that we visit here. Mm. Ah, it's those creeps again. Hm, maybe there's a sphere here. It's our turn to do the following. Indeed. But beforehand, good to see you again, Lady Yuna. Some old friends. You haven't forgotten me, have you? Ah. Uh, I mean, it doesn't. I don't think it actually matters which option we take, but uh, I'll be polite. Yaival, isn't it? You're in the youth league. Ha! <laughs> you really do remember me. I am truly honored, Lady Yuna. Since that day we first spoke, the youth league has been conducting a sphere hunt of its own. We, the Youth League! Hmm. <clears throat> Clasco, take it from here. Oh, Clasco. We, the Youth League, to better our understanding of Spira's past, vow to remain vigilant in our search <clears throat> for ruins and spheres. <laughs> oh, that's enough! Those two guys are getting away! <laughs> Did LeBlanc's men pass through here? Yes, they said they're here to take care of our fiend problem. Hmm. You see, the Youth League is in preparation for an important operation, leaving our patrols shorthanded. As a result, the road to headquarters has been overrun with fiends. Be warned, unless you can defeat the fiends on the road, you will not be able to pass. Great. 
So, are you ready to run the gauntlet? <sighs> sure. Understood. Expect to encounter fiends until you reach the vicinity of the lift. Fight your way through them and proceed to headquarters. That's it. Good luck. Clasco? Uh, Clasco, show them the way. Uh, uh, of course. This way, please. Yeah, let's hunt some fiend. Do we have to? Yeah, fine. Okay. How hard could it be? So unfair, people want to see the band banning together under the guns of the former crusaders. Yeah. Take on New Yevon. That sounds a bit ominous. Maybe new, Che. Eh? Hmm. Maybe some we might want to pay a visit to. I like that. Mm. <laughs> you seem down. Well, a lot has happened since you brought us the calm. Clasco is an old uh, choke when I ran into him in the first game. Clasco's great. I ended up following Captain Lucille. When she joined the Youth League, so did I. But I'm still stuck playing tour guide. Yeah. Ugh. You know, all I want is to ride on a chocobo faster than the wind. Well. You know, all I want. I don't know, Clasco. We'll, we'll see what we can do for you, buddy. But uh, first things first. Look, at least we're doing it for a mission now, right? So the evening is a bit short-handed. Help me clearing the fiends. Uh, fiends will attack more often under the cover of fog. You don't have to kill fiends, I don't think. We just gotta make it to the end, basically, so. I guess that's a thing. I'm having horrible memories of here and the major sisters. Oof. So. But the game's just basically when it fogs, maybe you don't want to be running around as much. You know? It's... It's a mechanic, everyone. There they are! What are they up to? Hmm. Where are they going, eh? Interesting. This fog is taking forever, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn it. I got this. Hey, I wanna fight too. Red elemental is here, okay. I guess there's a new enemy, so. Show it off. Magic casters. Tend to be fairly resilient to physical attacks, if memory serves me correctly. Kinda of dangerous. Wow, Yuna just ripped that thing to shreds. That was delicious. Hitting it very hard. I could change to a mage. It's, it's fine. They also tend to not have a whole lot of health in them. Sorry, we had to win. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a nice time to bomb Frank from that pretty sweet. Um. Let's head down here first, sure. I was thinking of doing this afterwards, but I don't really know where they're going. Also, treasure. Turbo Ether. Wow, that's nice. That will be very useful at the end of the game. Put it in a bag. Where did they run off to, eh? That way. Okay, got ourselves Phoenix down. Very nice. Is that fog going to affect me down here as well? I bet it does. I bet that's going to annoy me. Okay, pick up this one. High potion, nice. I can't see a damn thing down here. Jeez. I see that though. Good. Go ahead. <laughs> there. Oh, from here. Oh. Oh, that's. Huh. Hmm. 
That's a little unsettling. Tonberry, yikes. Okay. Um, I might not. We might not be here for long. I mean, it's couldn't. No, it wasn't I like, didn't see. I just couldn't. That's that's a fair amount of damage. Hmm. He's got something to steal. I just can't get the damn thing. Keep trying. Uh, I might do armor break here. Let's do something about this. Oh, we're trying. You had your chance to run. Tanky boy, aren't you? Of course you're protected against that. Why am I not surprised? I mean, look. The important thing is he's not immediately murdering me, so it's got to count for something, right? Wow, we are trying, but failing miserably. There is an ability we can get for Riku, which I've got working on. Uh, it's sticky fingers, so it's a guaranteed um, steal. Just keep trying there. Usually, if I'm trying to steal things, you have something pretty good. It's a little mini boss, this. Thankfully, it's only the one, so we shouldn't be too bad here. Hey, an Aoife. Alright, that's not bad. I think mean, that's worth the efforts. Right. Let's take this guy down. Oh, wow. Massive crits. Okay, he's actually starting to hit pretty hard here, and this is getting a bit worrying. Do you do more damage as you take more damage? Is that your gimmick? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Um, mm, right. I need to change here. We have problems. We have problems. I don't know if it's actually a good idea for Riku doing this. She might just get killed. But I need some serious healing going here. This is a little uncomfortable. Don't worry, I'll take care of ya. Please heal yourself now. Oh man, this is, this is bad. I think we're in legitimate, legitimate trouble here. He's hitting really hard. I don't know how much health he's got. Recharge. Stole him! Does kind of work. He's getting really aggressive here. Right. Um, keep, keep healing. Wow, this is taking... This guy, I don't know how much health this guy's got, but... I think the end's gonna be in sight, right? Uh, stop praying, please. Right, um... Need some elemental stuff against them? Oh, damn. I need to get Libra. So I can find out how much health these guys have got. I know you don't have it. You seem very sad. Damage then, he's like, eh, I'm fine. Jeez. Thank goodness me. That was so not worth it. I looked it up. I think it's 10,000 health. What in God's name is it doing down here? That's so not worth it. This one ain't no good. Nor this one. What are they doing? What are you doing? Yeah. <gasps> Let's get out of here. We must inform the boss. Not again. Hey, they dropped something. 
Hmm. Finders keepers. Hip possessions nine tenths of the law. Crimson sphere number nine, huh? Hmm. A strange looking door. Hmm. Wonder what they were up to. Well, who knows? Anyways, it's a problem for future chatter because this video is ending. <laughs> we just sat there fighting a toy for like seven minutes. It's just... Oh my god, I need to end this video. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everyone. Well, we will leave once we speak to this guy. Hey. Long time no see. Remember me? I forget the name, but I recognize the outfit. Glad to hear. Maroda, that's the one. How have you been? I joined up with the Youth League, and that's been keeping me pretty busy. Oh, I'm a sphere hunter now. Ah, that sounds great. Trying out a new way of life. Actually, Pase's a sphere hunter now, too. Yeah. He's the leader of the Kindergartians. Be nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Into the guardians. Next to him, if you see him. How's he, Saru? Mm. The the Asaru was another summoner um, that also went through the path. And Rodo and Parse were his guardians. Youth League discovered this place, you know. It's called the Den of Woe. Den of Woe. It was sealed around the time of Operation Meehan. And Isaru. But, uh, the seal can supposedly be broken with the right combination of spheres. Um... Touchy subject. I'm afraid this place is off limits until we can conduct a more thorough investigation. So, I'll, um, have to ask you to leave. I'm sorry. This place is off limits. Please leave. Not feeling too chatty, huh? Okay, then. Okay, now we're finishing the video. Pinky promise. Okay, thanks, bye.